Hi, and welcome back to the farmhouse. Today, we are going to be making tomato basil soup from scratch. This is one of my absolute favorite recipes, especially on a cold winter day, and it goes really well with a sourdough grilled cheese sandwich. So, let's jump right into making this. If you are new here, my name is Deanne. I am the creator behind the blog and YouTube channel, channel Hummingbird Acres, and this is our place to share our homesteading adventures with you guys, gardening, from scratch cooking, natural living, and just pure family fun. I'm so excited that you're here in our kitchen today with me. Please make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be no notified the next time I upload a new video. And let's jump right into making this soup. To start making this soup, you want to dice up some carrots, some onions, and celery. I have linked the recipe below for you. I am making a double batch when I am making it today. So after it is all diced up, you're going to add some oil to a large soup pot over medium heat. And once it is hot, you wanna add in the carrots, the onions, and the celery, and you wanna saute them for a few minutes until the onions become translucent. Once that is done, you're gonna add the diced tomatoes, the tomato paste, your chicken broth, some oregano, and some dried basil. You wanna bring that to a gentle boil and you wanna cook it for several minutes until the vegetables are tender. After you have all of your ingredients in your soup pot, go ahead and let that come to a gentle boil and boil it for a few minutes. You really want those vegetables to be nice and tender. While you are waiting for those vegetables to cook a little bit, you're gonna create your roux. So in a separate pot, add your butter and let it melt completely. Then add in some flour and you're going to whisk that together for at least probably 10 minutes or until your roux gets a golden brown color.
Our roux is done. I removed it from the heat and our soup has been boiling for a while and those veggies are nice and tender. So what I'm gonna do now is I have turned the stove off because it just seems to make less of a mess. I'm gonna use my immersion blender and I'm going to blend up all of these veggies until they are nice and smooth. Let's make sure this isn't too high because I don't want to burn myself. All right, so here we go. And then you want to add a big ladle full of soup to your roux, okay? It will be a thick paste. Add some more to the roux until it is smooth and no longer paste-like. You want it to be very, it will be very, very thick. Then you want to pour your roux mixture into your soup and combine it really, really well. So stir it really, really well. And then you want to let that sit and simmer for a while. Once you get your roux all stirred in, you're going to add your heavy cream and then let it sit and marry all together. When you are ready to eat it, go ahead and ladle it into bowls, add your Parmesan cheese, a little salt and pepper, and go ahead and serve. It will be yummy and delicious. This tomato soup can last in the refrigerator for up to a week. And if you have any extras, I suggest you freeze it, which is what we did with ours. But if you liked this recipe, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more from scratch recipes, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified the next time I upload a new video. Thanks so much for visiting the farmhouse today and we will talk to you guys soon.